Pilipinas hindi ko ma-experience kasi wala pa lang ganun dito. Talaga sa kanila lang yun. Para siyang um, seven-course meal, ganyan na iba-ibang klase ng meat. And the best ice cream can be found in Argentina. Wow. <laughs> so, we say that. Kasi sobrang fan na ko na ice cream. We, we had great food here also. Ayun, yeah, nagsasaka yeah, nila yung adobo. You like adobo? Yes, yeah. adobo. So Sinigang. Every day, so much. Yeah. Tuna. Tuna, yeah. mga isla. Yeah. 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 Seafood and, uh, oh my God. <laughs> every single yeah. day in Koron. Crabs. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Miss Andrea, and thank you to the cast of Passional, and congratulations. Thank you, Rocky. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rocky. Our next question is from Kate Adahar of Random Republica. I will read her question. So, uh, first question is for Andrea. Did you have to make adjustments when it comes when it comes to your acting style or technique to fit what the project calls for? And how did you prepare for this project physically and mentally? Uh, physically, syempre, kailangan best shape, kailangan um, healthy para kung ano man yung tatanggalin or ipapagawa sa um, eksena, kayanin ko. And also, may mga scenes kami sa beach, aware ako doon, and um, in tango, since dancer din ako, so dapat talaga fit. Um, and yun, uh, diet-diet din talaga. <laughs> um, para naman sa role ko, as mahalya, syempre talagang inaral ko yung script ko, um, ginawan ko siya ng background para mas mas maging natural yung pakiramdam for me. Uh, nakakatawa nga kasi po nakikita na yung script ko, Parang ang dami na rin pinagdaanan, ang daming sulat. Siyempre kapag daladala ko rin siya lagi sa set, sulat tatapunan minsan ng kape. Ang dami na niya pinagdaanan talaga. Kasi ganun po ako pag nag-aaral ako ng character and ng story. Talagang sinusulat ko siya lahat para guided lahat. Um, what else? Uh, Siyempre pagdating po sa acting, uh, always naman, always ko naman pong goal na pag may gagawin akong project, um, makapag-deliver ako ng something na hindi nila napanood sa akin last last sa last project ko. Kasi para naman always interesting. And yun, uh, dumating po ako na open ako na alam kong um, dapat may sponge lang ako na kung ano yung sabihin ng director ko, kung ano yung suggestions nila. Dapat ano lang ako, kunin ko lang yun and, and itry ko na i-apply sa kung ano rin yung alam ko. And try ko rin na makapagbigay din ang opinion ko for the scene para talagang ano siya, teamwork and ibang flavor. Yeah. Thank you, Andrea. Uh, Thank you. Her next question is for Marcelo. So, Mar- Marcelo, what's your most memorable experience in the Philippines? What's the experience most memorable in the Philippines? The complaint of Andrea. Andrea's birthday. In the playas, in the playas, realmente, fue una experiencia inolvidable. Unforgettable uh, experience. Filmar ahí con, con, ese, con ese viento y esas, esas aguas transparentes. Filmar adentro del agua, porque tuvimos escenas dentro del eh, Esos viajes en barco. Eso fue inolvidable para mí y para la película. Ok, that's nice to hear. Um, our next question is from Jeng Bauto of Show Business. I will also read the questions for Andrea. How is it like working with international production? What are your learnings? And can you please share with us your experiences shooting abroad? Big blessing po talaga um, na makawork po sila. Uh, kasi lagi naman yung pinipray ko na sa next project parang sana meron akong tutunang bago, sana mas maging magaling ako artista. And ito, since magkaiba nga tayo ng country at iba rin yung ways nila, talagang ano, busog na busog, ang dami ko talagang baon, ang dami ko nakuha from them. Um, yung pag-shoot ko din sa Argentina was very comfortable for me. I enjoyed it a lot kasi talagang uh, inayos nila lahat. They made sure na uh, magiging comfortable ako. They made sure na Uh, bawat eksena magiging smooth, ting ganyan. So, maganda, maganda yung mga memories ko sa country nila. And um, in terms of acting, yun nga po yung sinabi ko kanina na um, iba yung style nila and na-amaze ako kasi nung napanood ko na, basta trust lang ako eh, kasi nung napanood ko na after yung mga ilan sa na-shoot namin, sabi ko, ay, 
ito pala yung dating niya, ito pala yung dating kapag ang acting mo ganito, na medyo subtle lang, na medyo mas nasa loob. Parang nagulat din ako sa sarili ko na, ay, okay din pala yung ganito ang atake. So, I guess ganun, dapat talaga tayo, open tayo lagi sa kung sa paligid natin para lagi tayong nag-grow and nag-develop. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Next question is also for you. It's from Gorgi Rula. So, since the title of the movie is Passional, how passionate is the movie? And gaano ka kadering dito with your lead actor? Talaga, it's a very evolving story. Um, passional kasi talaga makikita mo talaga yung, um, yung love namin dalawa ni Norberto. Kung paano kami nagsimula hanggang sa kung paano namin pinaglaban yung love na yun, hanggang sa pagdating sa ending. Um, and yun nga yung sinasabi nila na interesting na hindi kami nagkakaintindihan, magkaiba yung language namin, pero intense yung love namin sa isa't isa. Daring, syempre, an- ano naman ako eh, lagi naman akong parang, syempre may limits pa rin, pero dito, of course, uh, since beach, uh, may mga eksena na naka-swimsuit, and of course, may mga scenes kami ni... Uh, Marcelo na medyo intimate talaga para ipakita yung level ng um, pagmamahalan ni Norberto and Mahal. Ito, sorry, kumukunit. Okay, sorry, that's quick translation. It's okay. Okay, for Marcelo, uh, how do you handle the intimate scenes with Andrea? Uh-huh. Eh, de manera profesional In a very professional way Pero con mucho gusto de compartir con alguien también muy profesional But with, um, the, in the, uh, I don't know with the gusto But with, um, with a great opportunity to share also these difficult scenes with a very professional person But it was also for him something that felt out of the order because it felt in cultures that are different. Entonces, eso estaba en la escena. Y también estaba, no solo en la escena como actores, sino también estaba ocurriendo en la película. O sea que la intimidad se estaba compartiendo también en dos personas de culturas diferentes. Eso fue interesante. Thank you. And of course, our Argentinian guest, uh, we also have a question. Are you willing to appear in any GMA shows as guest or do you have plans of working in our country? Si estamos, queremos, estamos dispuestos a aparecer en shows de Filipinas y trabajar en su país, en el país de ellos. So, I think everybody is saying yes right now. Yes. <laughs> Hicimos hace un rato en otra entrevista. We said at that time, in the previous, previous time, in another interview, que tenemos la sensación de estar haciendo historia en algo por like, primera vez. We have history for this project. En lo que, son, el, el, lo que sería un género de algo que tenga que ver entre lo argentino y lo filipino. It would be like a new genre that has to do something with the Filipino Philippines and the Argentina. Es, una, es un nuevo paso It's para pa- una cultura mezclada, empatizada por, por esto latino que tenemos nosotros en español. By, by this uh, mix of cultures between that both, we both share, which is the, the European culture. Yes. But yes, if you ask people here, they would love to come back. Everyone is actually, uh, yeah, they want to come back and um, we would love to work on new projects. We're actually, actually thinking about that. As we, as soon as we finish the first project, this one, we were thinking about how to start with new ones, and uh, that would be what we're going to be putting on, on our, our energy in the upcoming months. Okay, we're going to look forward to that. So, uh, our final question is from Romel Gonzalez of Pep. I will read his question. So, for the producers and the directors, what did you find out about? Andrea, that were beyond your expectations, and how was your experience being in the Philippines in the middle of the election and the pandemic? ¿Cuáles qué cosas descubrieron Andrea que superó sus expectativas 
y además cómo fue su experiencia eh, de grabar en Filipinas durante la pandemia y las elecciones. Eh, de Andrea ya eh, realmente lo hemos expresado y es Andrea ha sido already that Andrea fantástica has been, como persona, as a person, como actriz, as an actress, como profesional as a y es hoy una una amiga, una una amiga nuestra. Eh, trabajar con la pandemia the pandemic, no tuvimos problemas se tomaron las precauciones son las precauciones necesarias y fue, fue sencillo y las elecciones fue curioso fue extraño porque ver un proceso electoral eh, eh, ver, eh, tal vez tuvimos algún problema porque había muchas Mucha gráfica. We, we did have some problems because of very, very many uh, pamphlets and, and graphics. Ah, so no. que sacar en algunos casos y pedir por favor que nos dejaran retirar un momento y volver a poner la publicidad. In some places we need to ask the action to request it to take out the advertisements, the ads from, from for publicity for the elections and then put it back because we were shooting and that wasn't supposed to be on scenes. And also there were uh, trucks, I mean, but there were trucks that just played some music very loud and we needed to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just a few times only. But on you know, Pero no, no, no fue was no problem. Going. Yeah. The, the team took all the precautions to be able to shoot during the pandemic. We, we were also doing that back in Argentina. So uh, I think um, we passed through, we went through that um, without further comment. Okay, uh, the next question is, how will you differentiate Andrea the person and Andrea the actress? ¿Cómo diferenciarían Andrea, Andrea la actriz y Andrea la persona? <laughs> Tricky question. ¿Qué lo dice? <laughs> <laughs> bueno, en el cumpleaños, when in her birthday, fue muy feliz haber compartido esa noche con ella. We were bueno. happy to share with her estar night, de manera casi familiar, fraterna. Family. Así que yeah. eso podría ser una diferencia importante de haber compartido esa noche con ella. And it would be an important point to have shared with her um, uh, that night with her. But all in all, I mean, for us, very hard to, I mean, professionally speaking, Andres, amazing. She's very well trained. She's a great actress, very technical actress. And she did, and she, uh, over, I mean, she overcame every, uh, um, Challenge that she might have, and she actually she performed over all her expectations. They were she was really good. As a person, as a person, she's a very warm person. Uh, we work in a way that we are very tight, very close to the talents and the, the team, and uh, we became family. And that uh, that's something that just happened that we that you cannot make that happen. It happened, and she's a very open person, and. Um, Very receptive, and we felt uh, she was part of the team from the day one. Yes, we 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 shared several uh, meetings, and also like in Argentina, uh, we make sure that she experienced everything that we could uh, offer in the country. And I think um, that was a turning point. Maybe we really got to know each other, every one of us. Here, the Philippines was uh, reuniting with someone from the family, actually. That's why, yeah. yeah. Wow, thank you. Good words for Andrea. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, that concludes our question and answer for today. So thank you so much for all your questions. Uh, before we end, I would like to call again Marcelo and Andrea to give a short message to your fans. And uh, you may also promote your current and upcoming projects and plug your social media handles. So maybe we can start with Marcelo. <laughs> Eh, bueno, para promover sí, lo que viene, pero, los eh, proyectos. Dice que primero vamos a decir. Ah, perfecto. <risa> no. eh, pero, y que invites no, también, no, también a tus redes. Sí, a, a todos. A los de acá y a los de acá. Ok. Bueno, okay, hablo en español sí. y hablo en la cámara. You will speak Spanish, but I trust it. Invito a todos aquellos que ya eh, saben de mis trabajos. Me invito a todos los que ya saben de mis trabajos que este es un trabajo más, muy particular porque es, de alguna manera, mi primer trabajo en donde hago una historia de amor dramática. Sí, sí, sí. 
Romantic love story. Love story. Love story. Yeah. Y, y además en, en Asia, que para sí. mí es eh, haberme cruzado todo el planeta para encontrarme la gente similar a mí, es realmente una sorpresa. And this happened in Asia, yeah. and he crossed the whole world to, to meet these wonderful people that actually are so, cl so close to him. So uh, well, it's a very special project for him. So, Me gustaría que todos aquellos que ya conocen y siguen mis trabajos puedan también encontrar el trabajo de Andrea y el de, el de Miguel Kaufman también, un, un gran compañero y un lindo trío que pudimos hacer con esta película. It would like also all the people that are following his work to also meet uh, Andrea's work and Miguel Fasma, Fasma, which is another actor of the, the film, and to get you know their work as well. Thank you, Marcelo. Uh, let's have Andrea. Ah, uh, sure. Po ni invitan ti mga kapuso natin. Na abangan tong ginawa namin pelikula personal. Tulad niya po na sabi nila first time na nangyari ta na nagko broad ang Argentina at ang Pilipinas. Kaya gusto ko rin talaga makita ninyo kung paano namin na-merge yung kultura ng dalawa. At syempre, proud na proud ako na makikita niyo rin dito yung ganda ng bansa natin. And magkakaroon din kayo ng idea kung ano yung mga meron naman sa Argentina. So, um, wait na lang po tayo for updates kung kailan ang final na launch dito at sa Argentina. Pero malapit na yan. And of course, um, looking forward din po ako na mapalabas yung ginawa ko rin po um, na I Love to Kill, um, i-air po siya sa Netflix with Mr. Inan Veneration na po. So, yun. Yun po ang mga uh, blessings natin so far. Thank you very much for support and love. Okay. And what about Sir Gio? Uh, how was your experience also in the Philippines? Okay. For me, it was a very amazing experience to be able to photograph all these amazing the landscapes that we have that you had up here and also to work with an amazing crew amazing cast uh, it really for me was a very beautiful experience as a professional and as a personal human being also thank you for everyone Thank you. We're all excited to see your work. And of course, this event would not be complete without a photo op with everyone. So oh. may we ask our friends from the press and everyone present here in the Zoom room to please turn on your cameras for a quick photo. <laughs> Okay, if everybody's ready, I will do uh, look at the camera and smile. Well, all right, one, two, three, smile. And one more for safety. One, two, three, smile. Thank you so much. And yes, yeah, th that ends our media conference for this afternoon. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you, Sarah. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Yes. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Make sure to catch Marcelo and Andrea's international film, Passional, very soon. Enjoy the rest of the day and stay safe. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, Miss Andrea, stay po muna ikaw dyan for KPR Girl interview. Okay, bro. Thank you. Thank no, a ver, me parece, pero creo que es un para Andrea. Eso es solo. ¿Qué hacemos? Nos levantamos para que quede Andrea. Estamos transmitiendo en vivo todavía. Sí. I think you want to hold for you? The next one. Ah, the next one. Yeah, the next one. Okay. Ah, not here. Okay. Finish here, this one. You can eat now. Oh, yeah, we can do some later. Bye. Really? We close it? Yeah. Really? Okay. Leave. Super close.
Hello Ate. po. Um, oh, dito na lang sa akin si Andrea. Ah, sige po. Okay po. Five minutes lang daw po. Tapusin lang daw yung coffee. Ay, sige po. Okay, wait ko po. Tanggalin ko na lang tong background ko, no? Ano ba yung sura ko? Ah, flower-flower kasi ito, eh. Hindi, pag walang background. Ay. Kasi... Ito lang. Pader lang dito. Ate, pakisabi sa nasa likod mo, bawal kumain.